Welcome to the fifth Hayley Roxana Crafts quick crochet video where I share information, hints and tips on one area of crochet in a short video. In this video I'm focusing on how to do double crochet stitches in UK terms. In US terms these are known as single crochet stitches. Double crochet stitches are one of the most commonly used stitches in crochet along with the treble stitch or the double crochet in US terms. The UK double crochet stitch makes a good firm fabric with small holes and so is often used when making toys or in amigurumi crochet. However, the fabric produced does not have much give or drape and can be slow to work up due to it being a short stitch. As I am right-handed, these instructions are intended for right-handed crocheters. However, if you are a left-handed crocheter, you could use me as a mirror image, so you reverse the hand positions and the orientation. I'm using some DK yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook, but the process for making double crochets is the same regardless of the yarn weight and hook size you are using. I'm first going to demonstrate how to do a double crochet stitch within a project, but after I will show you how to do the double crochet stitches into a foundation chain. Here I already have a row of double crochets and I have completed the first few double crochets of the second row. To do a double crochet, you first need to insert your hook into the stitch from the previous row where you want your double crochet to be. In this case, that is just going to be into the next stitch along, so here. And you want to insert your hook under both legs. I can just turn it so you can see. Both legs of the sort of V shape that you get from the stitch on the previous row. Okay, so both of these legs here. Okay, so I'm inserting my hook under both legs. You're then going to take the yarn over your hook, like so, and you just want to pull it through. Okay, so you've now got two loops on your hook. You're then going to take the yarn over the hook again and pull through both of those loops. And then you just repeat that until you have done the number of double crochets you want. So in this case, I will repeat it to the end of the row. So insert your hook into the stitch, making sure you're going under both legs of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops. Insert, pull through yarn over, pull through. And if you notice, as I am pulling that yarn through, I am just turning that hook down slightly and then back up. So yarn over, turn that hook down to pull through to make sure you're holding onto your yarn and pull it up. And there I've completed the row. So I have now turned my work um, so that I can complete another row of double crochets. Um, and if the first stitch in the row you are working is a double crochet, as it will be here, you will often start the row by making a chain. So that's just yarn over and pull it through that one loop that is on your hook. But this chain does not usually count as a stitch. However, it is best to check the pattern you are following carefully in case it is counted as a stitch. But with double crochets, I find this is quite rare. So then you would make the first double crochet of your row into this first stitch. Okay, so just make double crochet as before, inserting your hook under both legs of the V, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through. 
The chain that we made um, at the beginning is just referred to as a turning chain. And it's just to make sure that you've got your hook at a height where you can manoeuvre it to make that first double crochet. You can then carry on crocheting as before all along the row. I will now demonstrate how to make double crochets into a foundation chain. There are three ways this can be done. And in all the ways, you skip the first chain. So that's this chain here. Remember, the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. So we're skipping this first chain and we're inserting our hook into the second chain. Now, you can insert your hook under both legs of the V, which can be a little bit figgly on a foundation chain, but it is possible. That would be like so. Or an easy way of doing it is to just insert the hook into the middle of those Vs and make your double crochet. Or the third way, if you flip your chain over, on the back you can see that there's these sort of bumps and you can insert your hook into the bump, like so. And then you just make your double crochet as usual. So yarn over the hook and pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops. And just repeat that all the way along your chain. Um, whichever the method you've chosen to use of inserting your hook, you need to keep the same for each of the stitch. Um, but it's up to you which one you use. Um, here is a photo showing the outcome for a row of double crochet using each of the three options for inserting the hook. Um, the method you choose to use can depend on the pattern as well as your personal preference. If completing double crochets into a chain in the middle of your project, you would most likely either insert the hook into both stitches of the V, particularly at the end of rows, or you just insert the hook under the chain to make the double crochet, particularly if the chain is between crochet stitches. But again, it is best to consult the pattern. Double crochets can be used on their own in projects, or they can be combined with other stitches to create fabrics and patterns. If you have any questions about double crochets, please pop them in the comments. In next week's video, I will demonstrate how to do double crochets in the back loop only.